Tony Clark in the CNN newsroom. The launch of the shuttle Endeavour is still on hold. Right now what you're seeing is the launch control room. Launch controllers are waiting for word that the weather at a overseas emergency landing site has improved. Right now all of the problems uh, that the shuttle has been facing appear to have been uh, handled and right now what the uh, launch controllers are waiting for is word that the overseas uh, landing site is clear for a landing. Right now they are holding at T minus five minutes. They're ready to pick up the countdown as soon as they get word that uh, weather has cleared up and they have until about 54 minutes after the hour to uh, launch Endeavour, uh, launch the shuttle Endeavour. And of course we'll bring that to you live. I'm Tony Clark in the CNN newsroom. Crossfire's next. And we're going to go to Atlanta for this launch of the, of the shuttle. This is CNN Breaking News. I'm Tony Clark in the CNN newsroom. All of the anomalies, the weather has cleared up. All of the problems facing the shuttle Endeavour on its maiden flight have been cleared up. It is now less than two minutes before launch of this, the newest space shuttle, 134 and counting. The weather that at one point today looked like it was not going to cooperate at all cleared up. There was a computer problem late in the evening, and uh, that has also been cleared up. There was a problem at one of the overseas landing sites. That weather has uh, cleared up. And so now let's listen as we're about one minute away from launch to uh, NASA commentator Lisa Malone. We do have an engine ready indication. Just a few seconds away now from the maiden voyage of Endeavour on a seven-day flight highlighted by the Intelsat satellite rendezvous and three spacewalks. One minute. Less than one minute away now from the launch of Endeavour. Heaters on the booster joints are being deactivated. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. T-minus 31 seconds. Sequence start. Endeavour's four redundant computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions for the remainder of the count. T-minus 20 seconds. T-minus 15. T minus 10. We have a go for engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of the maiden voyage of Endeavour on a satellite rescue mission. Endeavour. Houston now controlling roll maneuver complete. Endeavour's in a heads down position on course for a 28.35 degree orbit. Endeavour's engines throttling down now as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Endeavour's now one nautical mile from the launch site. This is the Engine newest now space shuttle, back up. two billion dollars. It was delivered to the Johnson Space Center uh, one year ago today. Seven crew members on board. This is going to be perhaps one of the most visually exciting missions uh, in some time for NASA. There are three planned spacewalks, one to rescue a satellite, two to work on uh, space station construction techniques. Now back at 104 percent. Three good hydraulic systems and electrical systems aboard Endeavour. Vehicles now traveling 2,000 feet per second or about 1,300 miles per hour. Altitude 64,000 feet downrange from the launch site, eight nautical miles. The crew was very excited about this, uh, this mission. In fact, uh, Tom uh, Akers, one of the astronauts, was saying at one time that uh, he thought they needed some adult supervision on the mid-deck because they were laughing and, and joking and very excited, uh, very eager to get on with this mission. Standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters aboard Endeavour.
Those are the solid rocket SRB boosters. SRB separation confirmed. Time, 2 minutes 20 seconds. Beautiful shot of the SRBs as they, they float back away. Now they, the shuttle is, is going the fuel from its, its external tank. You can see the, uh, the SRBs floating away. This will be a seven-day mission. 3,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 206,000 feet. Once the shuttle is in... Houston, performance nominal. Performance thus far in the mission has been as expected. One of the... Uh, just as soon as the shuttle gets on orbit, NASA has to, or the, uh, the folks that run the satellite that they're going to rescue, the Intel sat satellite folks, have to bring the satellite in so that they can rendezvous on day four. This should be one of the most exciting shuttle missions in some time, and of course we will be following it throughout the outfit.